Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space, where we last left off, we were making our way to hydroponics to go sort out the weird funk that is apparently accumulating over there. And we're certainly going to keep a rather tight grip on our flamethrower, because you know, you know to never trust anywhere in this game. Still, remember when we came here? And I believe your hydroponics check your helmet filters that air is not safe to breathe yeah I smelled it the whole deck's right I'm leaving a huge mass in food storage too big to be anything they grew it looks like the source of the poison gas that's <coughs> in medical he said something about creating an enzyme right maybe the scientists left the workstation open yeah maybe we're also getting horribly murdered now surely if Right, now stay with me. If we have filters and we're wearing our gas mask or breathing apparatus, we wouldn't be able to smell anything bad because it's all being filtered. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross. Now that sprinklers are fixed, we're working close to maximum capacity. All flora is thriving and food yield has created a surplus. And I had the surplus packed up so we could send it to the colony. The Captain Matthias is strictly enforcing his no-fly order. It's ridiculous. I'm lodging a complaint. Everyone knows Aegis 7 needs help. What harm could some fresh fruit do? Hmm. What was Matthias doing indeed? Still, let's open this place up. Well, I think Matthias knew what was going on. It's been a while since I played this game. But I'm pretty sure uh, Matthias was well aware of the bad state of the colony. Hey! What's in the toilet? May Altman be with you! Yeah, let's not have anything to do with Mr. Altman. Yeah, nice try, game. Nice try. I've been around the toilet once or twice in my life. I know sometimes things crawl out. Okay. Now anything this side. Nope. Well, I mean, somebody had explosive diarrhea on the toilet. It's pretty awkward. Alright, well, I guess that's all that's in the shitter. Now, I'm pretty sure in the original game, um, when you had those worms come out of the toilet, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that s quite a bit earlier, originally? Like I say, I could be wrong. I haven't played the original since... Um, actually, I th thinking about it, I did start playing the original... Um, like a year or two ago because I was going to do a hard run and then they kind of announced this so I cancelled it I got a, eh, right into the third chapter <sighs> pants shredding terror welcome here on the USG Ishimura we use hydroponic technology and organic plant cloning to grow Produce uh, as high quality as that on planet Earth. A friendly reminder. Our plants are delicate and pH sensitive. So please take care where you'd step and keep clear of all contaminants. Visitors should be mindful of volatile chemicals and varying gravity. Ishimura Farms. Yeah, hydroponics are probably going to be the future on Earth as well. Like massive organic growth farms. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. To all survivors, turn back. It's all gone. Everything we grew. My tea. All dead. That monster. Please leave. 
get somewhere safe. If I can find a way to kill it, somehow. Jacob, if you're hearing this, you know I have to try. Hmm. Okay. You can hear the pain in her, va uh, in her voice. Everything she's worked so hard to grow. All destroyed. Well, this is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. To all survivors. that is rather unfortunate. Still, let's see what we can do. Well, right. we have some liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen replenished. Beginning enzyme synthesis. Well, that's good. Enzyme synthesis complete. Caution. Do not ingest. Well, we weren't planning on eating it. Any luck? Yeah, I finished the enzyme. It's been modified to digest something big. They must have been trying to kill whatever's in food storage. Let's hope it works. Well, if there's a big old piece of biomass in food storage and they had a extra large plentiful yield this year or this cycle, uh, it's probably going to be one big ugly motherfucker. Well, that's okay because we've got a plasma cutter. That's all right. Now, let's have a little squiz around here. Alright, so they want us to go through that door. We can check out the shop, I guess. Um, uh, we might have some sellables, maybe. And we're over 100k as well, so... Yeah, significantly over 100k. Um, we're kind of getting a little bit low on the old flamethrower fuel. Which is bad news bears, kids. If there's one thing I don't want to run out of anytime soon, it's flamethrower fuel. So, we can buy 100 units for 7,000. That actually seems a reasonable deal. Because you know me, I'm quite fond of my flamethrower. So, let's go. Oof. Yeah, something has full control around here. No, no, no. Go back. There's no way into food storage. Even if there was, the Leviathan would devour you. You're Elizabeth Cross, right? This Leviathan, is that what's poisoning the air? The air. My team has destroyed everything. I designed a special enzyme to kill it. I just needed liquid nitrogen to complete the synthesis. The people I sent to medical never came back. I've got some of that enzyme here. Oh my god. How? Listen, we need to inject it into the Leviathan. You can't get into food storage, but there's another way. It's risky. Riskier than running out of air? My team has been altered. They're all connected to the Leviathan, breathing out its toxins. That connection goes both ways. Okay. So if I get to your team and inject them... The enzyme will be carried right into the Leviathan's heart. Bind the... Weezers. End their suffering. And when the Leviathan is weak enough, we bent the bastard into space. Well, that does seem like a reasonable plan. Let's go. Okay, so food storage for now is out of the question. So, what can we do? To West Tower. Carbon dioxide, supply water. Our aim, no accidents. Well, how's that going for you? Alright. 
definitely you don't want to be sprayed in the face with acid or whatever the hell that stuff's supposed to be I'll take one of them take one of them take some of them, wow 1800 credits not bad not bad at all Come on, there we go. Oh, it's a bench. Bench is cool, but we don't. Uh, maybe we should have brought a. Um... Oh no, we do have one node. Excellent. Does that mean we can upgrade the force gun to get the final upgrade? All right. So that's the force gun completely maxed out. Now. What I do want to do is make a mental note. So we've only got the um, super symmetry tether for the contact beam. Let me just make a note of the upgrades that we do have. Um, so we've got special one. Uh, the what was it? The flamethrower. The flamethrower, we need special three. Okay. Um, the plasma cutter. So that's our four weapons, isn't it? Force gun, which is maxed out. Contact beam, which needs a hell of a lot of work. Flamethrower, which needs a little bit of work. Uh, okay, and the plasma cutter. All right, cool. So we should, um, without a huge amount of bother. Oh God, fuck! <laughs> Whoops! Remember the acid, Titan. You absolute bellend. Yeah, I'm looking forward to maxing these weapons out. My God! Should we try the force gun on his ass? <laughs> Not much to look at now, are you, Milado? Oh, oh, God! Hasted his ass. All right, cool. I'm a fan. Explosive charges. Big open area. Weapons and materials. Okay. Looks like we're going to get some rough customers around here. That's okay. That's alright. We expect these things. Oh. Hello. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Let's light his ass up. There you go. Plenty to go around. Don't worry. Oh, hello. The whole family's here to play. So that, what's interesting is that fire actually holds them in place as well, which is cool. I like that. Right, let's burn these little bastards. Oh, hello. I didn't see you. Coming to give me a nice little hug and kiss. Naughty little sausage. Enjoy your second death. What a dick. How we doing? We good? Oh, sounds like there's more. Oh, there's always more. Come on. Let's see your testicles. Testicles? Your tentacles. Little squirt. Yeah, we don't want to see no alien gonads. Definitely don't want to see any alien gonads. Alien gonads, that would be awful. Oof. 
these red guys, all these black guys, they're rough. My god, they're really rough. I did. Calm down, for God's sakes. Calm down. There you go. Feel better? Well, that got spicy. We like it. That's how we like it. We like it when they resist. Ooh. Alright, let's go take oh hello. Security request retrieved. Hello, security. This is Dr. Cross in Hydroponics. Something just hit the hull near food storage. We think it's a rogue asteroid. I have people injured from decompression. We need medics and crowd control right away. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Everyone out of food storage! It's alive! How can it be alive? Well, a living asteroid is probably the least of your concerns, if you think about it. Probably way worse stuff than that. Not that I'm an expert on these horrors or anything. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say I'm not buying that, but alright. I guess you guys are on the up and up. Is that all that's in here? I mean, I say, is that all that's in here? You know, the force gun, that quite a spicy meatball. Unfortunately, didn't help our friend here, did it? I heard, like, knee attached with, like, connective tissue. Up. No time for tears. Oh, hi. Um, I'd rather you didn't spill your load all over the deck, if that's quite alright. Thank you. Really? Oh, I think I shot that rifle. Right. Okay, I don't know why we can't grab that, but whatever. Ooh. I'll certainly have this. We haven't had a pokey stick for a while. Alright. Oh, there's another pokey stick there. Is that it? I thought there was a Weezer in here. Alright, let's go. Ooh. I love these guys. Oh, they're so crazy. I mean, think about it. The team that spent so long building this place up. And uh, tending to all the crops and growing the crops. Literally perverted and turned into basically just a giant pair of lungs to poison and destroy everything they've worked so hard to create. Kind of cool. Alright, Weezer. I'll be with you in a second, buddy. Oh, I mean, that is bad. Such a gribbly creature. It did not like that. Yep, I was waiting for that. Alright, calm down. No need for all that noise. Alright, so there's... Oh, hello. Hello. 
You coming? You're coming. Let's see if we can't. Oh, hello. That's all right. That's all right. We're just going to grind you into a fine powdery dust. I thought I saw you there. Uh, there's another one. Yes, yeah, you. Okay, situation is kind of getting a little bit out of control here. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. Sounds about right. It actually looks like we have the upgraded stasis module as well that I've only just noticed. Because the upgraded stasis module actually electrifies the enemies as well as um, slowing them down. Well, it doesn't even just slow them down, it actually holds them in place. And that is a reward for one of the quests. So maybe we do have the master clearance. But we're still going to do the side quest anyway. Because why not, right? So this scientist lady, well, she's certainly helping us. And she's also looking for someone. So everybody seems to be looking for someone. But I guess that makes sense. Given the circumstances. Pretty big ship. Everybody's lost everyone. Ah, oh, hello. Alright, buddy. Alright, alright. Let's, uh... Be the cure... what ails you. There you go. Now oh, that's two down. I can't remember how many of these guys there are. Oh, hello. Do you see that? Do you see that sly little hidden? I see that. Unfortunately. Oh, oh. Uh, right, let's grab you. Chem lab report to Dr. E. Cross from Professor H. Uh, Jaegerwald. Organic growth. Elizabeth. As requested, I've attached the latest test results for the organic growth we've observed on the ship. I know you're busy, but we really need to run a joint study with Dr. Holwell. The substance is absolutely fascinating, given, given its affinity for dead tissue. At first, I thought it was some sort of fungus, but the cells most closely resemble bacteria with viral behavior. This organism infects other cells through osmosis and then mutates, reproduces... Uh, agmogenetically. Agmogenetically. All right, that's a word. Uh, what most, what's most incredible is the speed at which it grows. One of these bacterium reproduces 20-fold in just one minute. That's why we haven't been able to pinpoint any specific origin point. I think it just seemed to be in multiple points on the ship all at once. I've never seen anything like it. I won't stake my reputation on it, but I think this might be a genuine alien life form. Professor uh, Howley theorizes that it's... A, inhabit a habitat transformer. The levels of gaseous discharge are tremendous, which is why it smells so bad. But to what end? We simply don't know. 
What organism might exist symbolically with it? Are they out there? Could they be sentient even? I'll keep you posted. Heinrich. Yeah, well, they're uh, definitely something, dude. Um, I don't know why. There we go. Huh, 1800 credits. Yeah, that was worth it. <sighs> so this um, immortal ooze becoming a bit of a problem. All right, buddy, come on. Calm down. No need for all that noise. You really like to introduce yourself, don't you? Um, so, ooh, hello. No, there's nothing here. Now, they said all of this is destroyed, but it doesn't all look contaminated. Not that I'd probably want to eat any of this. And I'll tell you what, I'm a sucker for tomatoes. Ah, you bamboozled me with your ruby semiconductors bitch yeah I'm a sucker for tomatoes there's not a lot I won't do for a nice juicy fresh tomato cut up with a tiny little spritz of salt and vinegar mmm in fact I'd rather have a bag of cherry tomatoes than a bag of crisps or a bag of chips, as you Americans would say. Right. Uh, so... What have we got here? So, we can turn the jungle ambience off. We don't need the jungle ambience, do we? So what's this way? Ah. 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 Isaac, where are you? Help me. Ah, I mean, we're trying. Wow. No help in that guy. Ooh. This place looks incredibly hostile. Oh, hello. Can see you. Okay. To administer the ejection. There you go, pal. Well, you say toxic hazard clear. Does that mean we have hostiles? Or are we okay? So I think we just... Ah, had to happen. I was waiting, buddy. Yeah, quite enough of that, honestly. I don't think so. I do not think so. Dirty little fucker. Let the dead lie. Although, I guess we could have harvested them. Well, too late for that now. Alright, so... What have we got through here? East growing chambers. Is there anything? I'm guessing we've got to go through the east growing chambers anyway. More cash. More cash. Plenty of cash. Right, so, onwards. Oh. I heard you. Don't think that I didn't hear you. Oh wow, we're really running low. 
on sir oh <laughs> oh we're really running low on ammunition oh an ammunition depository um right so probably sell you wow we're at like 30k 30k over uh, well that's gonna be even more than 30k over good sweet lord We've basically got 40 grand to play with um fine let us purchase ammunition I guess um uh we can buy <sighs> Jesus Christ 20 grand will buy us a hundred rounds of that uh sure Probably don't even need that many. I spend 15. And let's get some more flame fuel. Because you know me, guys. I'm a sucker for this thing. And that still leaves us with so much freaking money. All right. Oh, hi. Yeah, he was a lot tougher. Because those guys... They only take one shot. The first time round. When you first play this, they take one shot. They're taking two to three. That's all right. It's not as if we have an ammo shortage anymore. Thanks, guys. Thank you. My chief supplier of weapons and equipment is the very enemy. Ooh. Yeah, we're actually on half an hour here, guys, so I'm going to drop a save. Not that I really want to drop a save, because I'm enjoying this game way too much. Hopefully that's coming across. This game is so, so much fun. But when we do come back, um, I guess we're going to continue killing Weezer 3. And then Weezer 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. And I don't actually know how many there is. I actually thought in the original game there was uh, 6 Weezers. Or maybe eight, but I think, and I could be wrong, I think there's ten here. Maybe there was ten before, I'm not sure. So, thanks for watching, guys.